Hi, my name is Eric Noden, and I'm an acoustic blues musician. I've been playing the guitar for over 30 years, and I specialize in playing uh, music of 1920s and 1930s, mainly fingerstyle blues guitar playing. And today I'm going to demonstrate a couple of different techniques that make the foundation for the styles of music that I play. So for both of the techniques that I'm going to show you, we're gonna use an E chord on the left hand. And we're just gonna just hold that down the whole time. And that's gonna give us our, our sound. Um, the first technique that I'm gonna show is a technique that I call the driving thumb technique. Some people call it dead thumb style as well. And in order to do this, we're gonna use an E chord on the left hand. And with our right hand, the thumb is going to play just the lower strings. You could play two strings or three strings. We're gonna brush through those strings and just keep a steady beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you'll notice that the sound is muted a little bit. So instead of going like this, my palm is resting down here by the bridge of the guitar. One, two, three, four. Now you'll notice I'm wearing a couple finger picks. I have a thumb pick on my thumb and one finger pick on my finger. You could also do this with your bare fingers as well. Um, but we're gonna add in the index finger now into this rhythm and we'll add it on the first beat of every measure. So we'll go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four. And you'll notice that that index finger is also hitting multiple strings, so it's kind of sweeping up like that, and that gives a nice full sound. So if we speed that up a little bit, it might sound something like this. If we add some different rhythms in it and some different licks with the left hand, then we get more. And so this driving thumb technique or dead thumb technique was used by Mance Lipscomb, um, Big Bill Brunzi and many other 20s and 30s era blues guitar players. Um, the next technique that I want to demonstrate is the alternating thumb technique. And in this case, the thumb on the right hand is going to go from the sixth string to the fourth string. Just back and forth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I like to add in, a lot of times, a brush on the two and the four. So when you go to the second beat and the fourth beat, you got a little brush in there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's try to add the index finger into that pattern. So the index finger is still gonna sweep across a couple strings. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
So that's the alternating thumb technique. And that was used by Mississippi John Hurt. Um, Doc Watson uses that technique. So now let's take a look at the two techniques that I introduced earlier, the driving thumb technique and the alternating thumb technique, and add some more chord changes into them. So before we were just using an E chord, but now we're gonna try a whole 12 bar blues progression. So we're gonna use an E chord. We're gonna use an A7 chord. I'm doing this by barring the first through fourth strings with my index finger, and then I'm using my third finger on the third fret first string. You can also do this chord by doing an, an A shape like this and adding your pinky there on the third fret first string. And then we're also going to use a B7 chord. Okay, so there's going to be slight alterations in the thumb pattern on these, on these chords. For the E chord, if we're doing a driving thumb bass as we already did, it's going to be hitting on the, from the sixth string, fifth string, and fourth string probably. For the A chord, A7 chord, the thumb is going to move down to the fifth string. So now we're going to just go from the fifth string, hitting the fifth string, the fourth string, maybe the third string, those three. When we do the B7 chord, we're also going to start with the thumb on the fifth string. So let's take a look at that in a 12 bar blues progression. So we're gonna go start on the E chord. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two. Now we're gonna to switch to the A7 chord. One, two, three, four, two, two. Now we're gonna go back to the E chord. One, Now we're going to do the B7 chord, one, two, three, now the A7 chord, two, three, now the E chord, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Let's listen to what that sounds like, speed it up, so yeah. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, So that's the driving thumb technique, applying it to a 12 bar blues. Let's take a look at the alternating thumb technique now, also with the chord changes in a 12 bar blues. So we're gonna use the same shapes that we used in the driving thumb 12 bar. We're gonna use E chord, A7 chord, and the B7 chord. Now, in the alternating thumb, we're gonna have a little different patterns on the right hand. So let's take a look at that. So the right hand is going to, on the E chord as we already did, go from the sixth to the fourth string. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. For the A7 chord, we're gonna go from the fifth to the fourth string. Remember, you can brush, so you can go fifth string, and then you can hit the fourth and the third string at the same time. One, two, three, four. 
And for the B7 chord, we're also gonna go from the fifth string to the fourth string, or the fourth and the third string. So let's try that with a 12 bar blues pattern. So here we go, one, two, three, four, Changing to the A7, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, back to the E chord, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, B7 chord, one, two, three, four, A7 chord, two, three, four, E chord, two, So if you speed that up, it would sound like this. When I get a new guitar, I like to have it set up for the way that I like to play. Um, different players like their guitars set up differently. Sometimes a musician might want their action, which is how high the strings are from the fretboard, to be very high because they play very hard or have a certain style, or maybe they want to um, play slide guitar. Uh, and sometimes musicians might want the action to be really low so that the guitar is easier to play and so they can play on more of the neck. Um, I prefer the action to be pretty low, and so after I got this guitar, I had um, some minor adjustments made to it just so that it would have a fairly low action. And uh, so some of these slots here on the nut got filed down a little bit in order to bring the strings closer here. And then you can also bring the action down over here on the bridge by having this this filed on as well. And these adjustments make the guitar customized to that particular player. And so I like, I like my strings pretty, pretty close to the guitar. And that allows me to play both the open chords as well as bar chords. Well, I hope you enjoyed this workshop on acoustic blues guitar playing and learned something about finger style guitar and some of the different fundamental techniques that make this style happen. Once again, my name is Eric Noden for Honer Essential Roots Guitars. Mm -hmm.